Hello, I'm Sayyid Reza Fatazadeh. As the creator of Piercing Goods site, I develop and publish the most successful high quality training videos on PLC brands such as Siemens, Allen Bradley, and Delta. I am a passionate educator and electrical engineer. And as a teacher, I love to implement innovative 3D learning techniques to make education easy, interesting, and fun. My biggest accomplishment in producing PLC programming training courses is based from a famous quote by Confucius, which once said, I hear and I forget, I see and I remember, I do and I understand. So in each phase of developing a training course, I take these steps. Step one, I specify the brand and model of a PLC I will use. At the beginning of the course, I show how to install it and its wiring schematics. This CPU has a 24 volt DC to supply sensors or other instruments, which may be connected to it. Next, we have digital inputs. A digital input has only two states, on or off. First terminal is common for all other eight digital inputs. These digital inputs is of 24 volts and they need to supply. Last three terminals are for analog inputs. Analog sensors give us a signal such as 0 to 10 volt DC or 4 to 20 milliampere. Finally, maybe it's need to use a memory card, either as a transfer card or as a program card. Well, let's see some points of PLC wiring. This is a simple wiring of my CPU with these information. Wiring of the CPU and others are pretty same. But we advise, for each device read its manual carefully. First, this CPU need a external 24 volt DC power supply to work. Please see here, we will use the internal 24 volt DC to power digital inputs. Step 2, I specify the suitable software that will be used to edit, simulate, or execute developed programs. TIA software has two layout. It starts with portal view. In portal view, we can quickly decide what we want to do and call up necessary tool. In other words, the portal view is more suitable to create or manage projects. But the project view is a structured view of all components of the project. Here you can program CPUs, configure hardware, and etc. with their details. Step 3. I explain commonly used instructions with practical examples to show how each instruction works. Well, let's test an on-delay timer. Click here, to insert an on-delay timer. The inserted timer, need a timer address. In data files, select the timer file. As you see, there is only one timer, we can have up to 256 timers. This is an advantage of using PLC, because we can have many timers, without paying any money. Well, I select the first one. Let the time base and the preset value be 1 second and 5. So, the overall time will be 5 seconds. I insert a normally open contact to enable the timer. And finally, step 4, then I teach you how to link and simulate each developed test code to the factory I.O. or easy PLC software suite. So, let me change my controller mode to run mode, to test its program. Also, I've designed two screens on my HMI, to monitor and control these systems. Note that, I have explained how my HMI can connect to my controller in the previous video. As you can see, this arm picks up boxes, and places them on pallets. Note that, here are two sensors which are used to detect boxes and bullets. Also, here is another sensor. When a prepared box reaches the end of the roller, the stacker crane will start its works. Mm. 
Note that, the stacker crane system, and also its program have been explained during lessons numbers 28 and 30. If you remember, in the 30th lesson, we wrote an SFC program in 9 steps, which placed boxes into empty positions automatically. I've used that with a little modification in this video. As you see, I've designed an HMI screen to display the stacker crane step. Also, on the right side, empty or filled positions are displaying. Now, the second position inside racks is empty. So, the next box will be transferred there. So, based on understand by doing, I have generated four titles of multimedia based training courses for learning both programming three different brands of PLCs and the video editing software as following. First title is Programming Step 7 1200 PLC and KTP 400 HMI Display with Siemens TIA Portal and Factory I.O. The second title is Alan Bradley Programming Video Training and Tutorial Course with RS Logics 500 and 5000. The third title is Complete Delta PLC Programming Video Course with ISP Soft and VPL Soft and Factory I.O. The fourth one is Camtasia Mastery and Training and Tutorial Course for Camtasia version 2019. In order for you to learn to become a professional PLC programmer, you just need to have two things. First, by training video courses. Second, the motivation and passion and eagerness to learn to be the best programmer. If you have any suggestion for the channel, such as what kind of hardware or software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that in the comment section. See you next time. Bye-bye.